Shalom Israel, Most High Christ bless you all. Here we are in Houston, Texas. We have another school opening of Israel United in Christ, where you brothers and sisters can come learn the truth about who you are, the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, and what you need to do to prepare yourselves for the second coming. And to my right, Captain Uzziah, Austin, Texas. And to my left, Captain Yadon, Houston, Texas. Israel, come learn with us. We are at 9624 South Kirkwood, Houston, Texas. Learn your history. Learn what is required of you before the second coming of the Messiah. We give all praise to the Most High in Christ for having another school. We have classes weekly. We will have the Camp 101. We will have teaching for your edification. The last days are at hand, Israel, and now we have this school to gather together, as the scripture says in Zephaniah 2 and 1. So come out, come ready to learn, come ready to fellowship, and ultimately be ready for deliverance of Christ, our King. With that, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Bishop Nathaniel, Most High Christ bless. Thank you for coming to Houston for the Sabbath. All praise to the Most High, I'm glad to be here. Preparing Israel, it's a very, just like John the Baptist prepared the way for the second coming of Christ, so are we doing today. We have to prepare the Israelites for the second coming of Christ. Let's go to Ephesians 5. Uh, give me verse, I believe it's 31. Let's start there first. Ephesians 5, verse 31. For this cause, shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. Right. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. So now you might be asking, it's talking about marriage, what are you talking about? The last verse said marriage represents Christ and the church. So now I want to jump up in that same Ephesians 5 to verse 25 and read down. Watch this. Ephesians 5 verse 25. Mm -hmm. Husbands, Love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church. So marriage represents Christ and the church, Christ and the nation of Israel. Watch this, go ahead. And gave himself for it, uh -huh. that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So the word of God is what cleans us up. So now you still may be wondering, what does this got to do with being prepared for the second coming of Christ? Watch this. That he might present it himself a glorious church. The purpose is to pre present Israel, our people, as a glorious church. Go ahead. Not having spot. Not having spot. Or wrinkle. Or wrinkle, meaning no sins amongst us. Go ahead. Or any such thing. Or any such thing. Go ahead. But that it should be holy and without blemish. We are meant to be holy and without blemish when Christ returns. So it's very important for us to be prepared just as a bride prepares herself for her groom. Christ in this case is the groom, we are the bride, we must be prepared for his coming. It's very, 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 I can't say it enough, very important to be an example in Israel. Um, when you go to, give me this, Sirach 44 and 16, many times we wake up into this truth. We can read the scriptures, but we need a living example to show us, like, Many sisters came in amongst when I was teaching in my home. They would say, well, how should the women dress? How should we conduct ourselves? I had to say, you read scripture that we don't understand. Follow the example of my wife. Follow, men follow my example. You, we are a visual people. We need, we can read something, but reading is one thing, but seeing a, a visual is another level. You understand? So read that for me. The book of Sirach, chapter 44, verse 16. Enoch pleased the Lord. It was translated, being an example of repentance to all generations. Enoch was an example of repentance unto all generations. So that's how each man must be. All of us must be that. Get me 1 Timothy 4.12. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. Let no man despise thy youth. Here come. But be thou an example of the believers in word and conversation and charity and spirit and faith and purity. You see how important it is? So we must be an example unto the believers. Believers come in, they can read, but many times they need a living example. Show me what you mean by what this is saying. So they're gonna listen to our conversation, the way we conduct ourselves, the way we dress, the foods we eat, the holidays we celebrate. They're looking at every aspect of us so that they can follow our pattern. Uh, give me Matthew 5, 16. 
because of being an example of something that black men and black women haven't had in their lives for a very, very long time. Um, but today's a new day, and it's time for us to change the course of history, which is what we're doing. Come on. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. You see that? Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works. So what we read in Timothy, we got to be an example to the believers in everything. The operative word out of that verse is works. They need to see a visual of what you are doing for us to follow your example. So all of us, men and women, must be an example to the next group of believers that's coming in. Israel United in Christ is, is uh, one of the, I won't say only, if I say only that'll be too pompous. So I'll say we're one of the few congregations who are truly setting an example for everyone. That being the case, people are attempting to demonize our congregation, demonize the, the leadership, the men and the women. Give me um, Matthew 5 and 11, please. Matthew chapter 5, verse 11. Mm. Blessed are ye, when men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely, for my sake. So Christ said you're blessed. When men speak evil of, of us, and persecute us for falsely, the key word falsely, because when you look at certain individual camps, they're using vulgarity, cursing, threatening rape of our sisters, uh, hatred for our own women. That's not being an example. And then they'll turn and try to say that we're in the same light as them. No, we're not. We're on another uh, uh, atmosphere from, uh, from them because they're not following what is written. From there, give me um, 1 Peter 4 and 14. 1 Peter 4? Verse 14, if ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye. So Israel not in Christ, we are reproached for the name of Christ. Go ahead. For the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. The spirit of glory and of God rests upon our congregation. Read. On their part, he is evil spoken of. So on the world's part, Christ is evil spoken of. Read. But on your part, he is glorified. But on our part, he is glorified because we are teaching the law and living the law to the best of our ability. Go ahead. But let none of you suffer as a murderer. So it comes back and says, let none of us suffer as a murderer. Meaning, hatred is the foundation of murder. Let none of you suffer in that spirit, for that spirit, go ahead. Or as a thief. Or as a thief, go ahead. Or as an evildoer. Or as an evildoer. Or as a busybody in or, other men's matters. Or as a busybody in other men's matters. So we are to rejoice and understand that evil is going to come. Psalms 2 verse 1. Why did the heathen rage? Why do the heathen rage? What does that mean? Why does the white man get mad? That's what it's saying, go ahead. And the people imagine a vain thing. And so-called blacks imagine a vain thing. That's what it's saying, go ahead. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. Go ahead. Against the Lord. So they're all against the Lord, go ahead. And against his anointing. And against his anointing, which begins with Christ, okay? So the Bible prophesies these things must and will happen. But happy are ye, we must endure, and we shall endure. Give me a scripture in Timothy where it says, um, uh, give place unto reading. First, First Timothy chapter 4, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Till I come, give attendance to reading. So, in us helping Israel to endure in this truth, one of the um, stipulations or guide, or I'll use the word principles we must follow is give attendance to reading. That's gonna prepare, help us to endure in this truth, go ahead. To exhortation. To, we ex must exhort Israel to stay in this truth, read. To doctrine. And we must exhort Israel to stay in the doctrine of God, which is his laws, go ahead. Neglect not the gift that is in me. So none of us should neglect the gift, which is in each and every one of us. As we repent, the spirit of God comes upon us, it awakens us, we cannot neglect the gift, go ahead. Which was given thee by prophecy. Uh -huh. With the laying of the on the hands of the presbytery. Right, that's why we lay hands on one another, anointing one another in the name of the Lord and the Spirit. Read. Meditate upon these things. Mm -hmm. Give thyself wholly to them. We must give ourselves entirely to these things. Read. That thy profiting may appear to all. That our profiting may appear unto all. That goes back to that being an example, go ahead. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. 
For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and that that hear thee. So if we continue in these things, we shall not only save ourselves, but those that hear us. Give me Jude 20. The book of Jude, verse 20. But ye, beloved, build up yourselves on your most holy faith. Notice it says build up yourselves in your most holy faith. When people come to the schools of Israel United in Christ, they're hearing the teachers teach. But it's up to every man and every woman to do this. Read it again. But ye beloved, build it up yourselves on your most holy faith. They must build up themselves. Our job is to give you the word of God, but it's their job to start to apply it in their lives. We can't force them or make them apply. They must have that willing spirit. Read it again. But ye beloved, build it up yourself on your most holy faith. It's like I could watch all the exercise movies, videos in the world. If I don't sit down and lift a weight, change my eating habits, I'm still gonna be out of shape. You understand? Yes. So it's up to the individual to build themselves up. Read it again. But ye be loved, build it up yourself on your most holy faith. So we give the scriptures, we give you the proper understanding. It's up to every male, every female to say, you know what? Let me apply that to my life. Let me build myself up according to what this Bible is saying. I hope you understand. Yes, sir. Um, very edifying. Oh, we got all our questions answered. The Lord praises to the Most High. That shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Israel. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.